Uh, this claim is a bit of a surprise. Hi, welcome to the Poets React. I'm Mark Bushbein, a poet with a guitar. And uh, I'm in Washington, D.C. And uh, today we analyze a poem we've never seen. And this week I was given the privilege of being the chancellor of the uh, Poetry Global Network's Poetry Academy. So I decided I would dress the part and um, start acting like a chancellor. That said, <laughs> welcome, 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 Marissa. Hello, Hello everyone. Whoever we are. <laughs> Hello, I am Lamarck. <laughs> with ukulele. <laughs> From Albuquerque, New Mexico. Please make sure that you use the chat, ask comments, ask questions. We love engaging with you in the chat. Lawin. Okay, so obviously some people took their crazy pills today. <laughs> um, hi, I'm Lawin from Manila. Uh, and I am flabbergasted that the, the panel is very different today, guys. However, the show oh. is the same. Um, please subscribe to, to our YouTube. All right. Uh, sign up to all our socials, like and share. Um, because otherwise, and who knows what, what, what transformation happens next. There you go. Okay. That's a, that's a long one, Maritza. Okay. Acam. Hi, everyone. Welcome to uh, The Poets Reacts. And I'm Kimlin. I am uh, your Singapore, Arizona connection. So glad you're here. Uh, I'm a multimedia artist. And I'm here to ask us to send in a poem. Yes. Um, yes. We have done what we wanted. We have discarded dreams, preferring the heavy industry of each other. And we have welcomed grief and called ruin the impossible habit to break. And now we are here. The dinner is ready and we cannot eat. The meal sits in the white lake of its dish. The wine waits. Coming to this, has its rewards. Nothing is promised, nothing is taken away. We have no heart or saving grace, no place to go, no reason to remain. Mm. I, love it. I love it, I love it. Ruin the impossible habit to break. Yep. That might be one of my favorite lines ever on this show. The heavy industry of of each other, yeah. Uh, relationships can be heavy, and uh, uh, sorry to, sorry to, just jump into this one, but this <laughs> this strikes many chords all at once for me. Uh, it's it's always in. Yeah. I I love that the whole trade off we do for sophistication, for relating, for you know supposedly the finer things in life, and you end up with no life at all. It's it's beautifully tragic. I love it. This 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 poem is, is strangely one that can easily change uh, with the way you read it, the attitude that you take on it. Kemlin took an attitude, a very strong attitude, a very uh, you know, a, a very uh, you know, a, a, a very a, a very strong you know, uh, uh, forceful attitude. And then if you started as, what have we done? Uh, what we had, what we wanted. We have discarded dreams, preferring the heavy industry. All of a sudden, it becomes a different poem, in a way. It becomes a tender kind of a of a poem, and I'm not sure which way it's it's meant to be read, or both ways. Or can a poem be successful? Be but we do agree it's heavy, heavy either. It's heavy either way, right, Mark? It's heavy either way, but one is different. One is with anger, and one is with one is with compassion, because there's both of each in the poem here. So. Mm. Do you think it's someone who lost a spouse? It can be. Uh, in fact, well, now that you say that, that actually just makes it more tragic because it's oh, the whole. No. It was. It, it's a. It's a relationship on the decline. Oh no! It's person. over. <laughs> yeah. 
it's not no, on the DVD. No reason, like it's already no crashed. <laughs> but no reason. Oh no. There's also there's also the foreshadowing of there's the possible foreshadowing of death. If it's not there already. I don't really know if there's that much foreshadowing. I mean, the very first line is, we have done what we wanted. <laughs> like it's, no, this, it's this, already this, accepted what's happened, right? The fate, no. is, the fate of it has already no. occurred. I mean, no. whatever happened, happened and called ruin the impossible habit to break. And no, we are here. The dinner is ready no. and we cannot eat, no. right? It's like, it's already no, done. I, I hear you. This I hear is, you. But that's the thing, right? I mean, the literal of the poem tends to, I, we, at least we're, we're encouraged to believe, right? The, the literal of the poem is seldom the arrow where the writer actually wants us to end up. So I'm just trying to figure out what, what else is being said. Mm. Well, they, I mean. The overt is, overt is overt and it's, it's clear enough. We have no heart or saving no. grace, no place yeah. to go, no reasons to remain. Yeah. I think it's, you know, maybe to remain in the grief. The The whole concept is that if, if, when you move through grief, that you get to the last stage, which is acceptance. And a lot of times the denial, uh, the bargaining, all those things get in the way of of, of, of the depression, which leads to the, the yeah. acceptance. And so I think that they're at that point where they're, done bargaining they've accepted what it is what's happened they're they're saying this happened you know it, we can't ever eat the dinner right we can't ever be here again um n you know we have no heart no safe no place to go no reason to remain don't stay in that space move out of that space mm -hmm. and i think that that's very poignant i mean it doesn't end in a in a place that pulls you out of it but i think that at least for my sake as a reader, I'd like to know that I would carry her, this poet out. Mm. Um, to, to me, it's a, well, it, it's very prosaic. It's written in that style the, the, of the, uh, the, yes. the the mountain school, you know, Chrome and, and, and CMAC. Yes. You know, it's it takes it takes very ordinary language. There's not, I mean, there is a lot of. It, it's not exactly prosy, you know, but it it has. It, it doesn't, it, it sounds like poetry. They don't really say we, you we don't, started dreams preferring the heavy industry of each other. You know, that's a little, you know, so it actually has has this poetic light of thing, but it's very light. And it, it has that kind of style that goes back to like 1980. So I had to guess, I guess it was either Crowley or c -Mac. Uh 1980 was a very good year. <laughs> it was a very good year. Yeah. 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 And the one was 1970, 1970, when this style came around. And you know, started to populate the scene a lot. This type of this type of attitude, you know. And I don't. I don't think it needs a lot of bells and whistles. I think yeah. this poem really speaks it. for itself. Oh wow! Yeah. Oh, wow. oh, oh Kamlin! Wow. So you know, so it would have like... been so cool to see that bottle on its side with all the yeah. wine spilled out. Yeah. Like. Yeah. No. Now it's on its side. Yeah. yeah. yeah now it's on its side. <laughs> <laughs> But you know, we're, we're, yeah, it reminds me of one, of, one, of one poem by C. Mac, I think it is, of Crowley. It's very short. It says, it's so nice to wake up in the morning all alone when you don't have to tell someone you don't love them, when you don't love them anymore. Or you have to tell anyone that you love them when you don't love them anymore. And that's the poem. You know, all you have to do is say it one time, right? <laughs> well, <laughs> and if you don't say it, you got to freaking say it. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Am I freaking anyone out yet? Are y'all freaked out? No, you want to. I, I, I do want to. I do want to buy you a razor. <laughs> buy you <laughs> a. <laughs> no, I, I thought the a poem was absolutely gorgeous, and uh, yeah. abs I felt very solitary when I I I read it, and so hence when I did the still life, it was it, the each of the objects seemed so detached from each other and cold, and the the dish is cold. The wine is uh, has gone be has breathed and l breathed its last breath, and there was that it's it's the final goodbye, and uh, yeah. no place to go, no reason to remain. Uh, it's the exit. It's an exit poem. You, you know what's you know what's occurring to me right now, which is very interesting. When we set a table, 
the intention is to eat dinner, right? And the intention is to eat dinner as a family or as a group of people, right? So if this poem has the table set and it has the food in the dishes and the wine is poured, it's in the cups. <laughs> they didn't see this coming. They had set their life to feast in this partnership, right? They had done something to set the table and they never got to the table. So if you think about that, it's interesting to me, uh, the blindsided maybe-ness of it, um, of the nature of the poem, that whatever it was, it was quick. That's why I figured maybe it was a spouse who died they didn't see it coming. Oh no! I I, I, I look at it as a couple, uh, a, just a couple splitting up after so many years of Could being be. together. That's how I, how I see it. Uh, Could be. Yeah. It um, could be either way. It would be nice to know. It would be nice to ask the author: Was this a death or this death of a relationship? It would. Well, be, I wonder would, if the poem has a title. It does. They'll send it. Oh, it 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 is titled. Are we? Whoever read it, <laughs> go, Camlin, go. Coming to this by Mark Strand, 1979. Shut yeah. yeah. the front door, Mark. Yes, that's, well done, Mark. That's because well it was done. like the 70s. Thing. No, Strand was part of that school. <laughs> so Strand was part of the, I think it was called the, the Rocky. Around that era. Uh, Rocky. Well, there's something, uh, something mountain school, Rocky or Bear. <laughs> I know Kemp is not coming to mind, but it was a school of writing that kind of took this in. Each line is very, very controlled, you know. Uh, the, no, the, 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 it's in the white lake of its dish. I mean, it, you know, there's a lot in there, you know, and and all that. And it really does tell a, uh, it does tell a complete tale. I mean, it's a very good poem in that style. It really is well done. Every every I word is well. Done. I would like to ask our viewers as well um, at this point. No. How how have you found the poem so far? How do you react to it? How is it touching your heart? Is it touching your heart at all? Is it touching other parts? You don't have to share that bit. No, but, um, <laughs> it's not that kind of poem yet, Lawin. Wait till okay. I get to bring my own poem. Yep. No, but uh, for sure. I'll bring I, my next character for you. This is this is the kind of this is the kind of thing. Uh, I don't say this too often, but I wish I wrote this. <laughs> Look at the size of Mark's mug. It is the size of his head. Do you think that I could buy? I'm gonna go buy the biggest, giant, most giant mug for this show, so that Lamarck can have a big. Well, it's a whole, it's a whole story about how I picked up the mug that day. You know, when the old <laughs> mug broke and my water. how it all worked out. You know, so it's it's just part of the, part of the landscape. I get it. <laughs> and for those of you who are artists, I, I would love to see your work as you react to uh, our poems that we share. So, you know, paint with me. Oh, my gosh. Would that be amazing to see everyone's artwork, Kemlin, yeah, uh, that they're painting that. right along the reading? Absolutely. Well, it looks like we're getting close uh, to the end of our show. I'll be like, as cool as law. And no, we're not promoting smoking. Don't smoke. <laughs> Stay away from there, Just use prop cigarettes like me. Yeah, and um, or paint. You know, you can you, know, you know what they say? Hey, Lawin, is your cigarette as big as my cigarette? I think no, Lamarck, yours, yours Lamarck's is bigger. That doesn't look exactly like a cigarette. Oh, it's a cigarette. <laughs> it's just the biggest cigarette you've it ever like seen, a, uh, Mark. I, it looks it's, like you hand I'm special. just special. It's a, uh, it's I like got, a, it looks like a Cuban, a Cuban blunt is what it looks like. <laughs> Kids, uh, it's time for you to turn the show. <laughs> I just Good wanted night. it to stand out on the camera. <laughs> all right, but seriously, y'all, like this has been so much fun. We appreciate all of you for watching. Make sure you please like, share, subscribe, follow to all of our PGN Poetry Global Network channels, our shows. We have all kinds of new stuff coming up and out, and it's already there. And yay! Make sure you like, share, subscribe. And follow us right here at PGN Poetry, uh, excuse me, at uh, TPR, The Post Reacts. We're so, so, so excited to be here. Uh, feel free to drop comments in, send Kemlin, please, any of your artwork. And remember, as we are reacting to poems live right here in front of you, we hope you take action with your pen so that maybe someday we'll be reacting 
to your poem. Bye, everybody. This is Lawin. Oh, I mean, Lawmark. Oh. <laughs>